I'm Olive Bradley. It's Annika Fornery. I'm Lexi Janicek. My name is Ella Allen. And I'm Mia Allen. And I'm going to be watching the sum of Lucy's best moments chosen by you guys. I simply input everyone's data in the form of report cards, journals, medical records, and DNA samples. Wow! How did you get our DNA samples? She's did like, I say DNA samples? This is her face. Did I say DNA samples? I love it. I love it. What exactly are we doing? Playing Corpsicle. It's my favorite <laughs> snow game. How do you win? By getting oh hypothermia? <laughs> yes. I love her scenes with um, Lisa because I feel like they're kind of like alike because they're both like, what, by getting hypothermia? And she's like, yeah, lying, pretending to be a corpse. I'm just like, go Lucy. Yeah! Looks more like an emu trotting across the outback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scoots. So great. Scoots. Oh my gosh. My Someone favorite person. Leave her we alone, Scoots. An emu on the loose. Ah! Oh my gosh, what is with this woman and emus? I don't like her. I don't like people who are mean to others for no reason. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Oh, I, I like this one. Well, the wonders of this microclimate never Okay, see. Lisa and Lexi, like, same people. Let me just tell you that. Same people. I, it's so funny. Lenny will be rooming with Lynn. Wait, why are we together? That doesn't make any sense. It does make sense. We don't even have anything in common. They do. You can tell. Hey, guys! I, want to show I love you my Lisa's outfit. Look at that. She's going to make a beret. Guys, where'd they go? Sheesh, we've created a monster. At least we're safe in here. Yeah, it's not like she can bring snow inside the house. She can, she can, guys. Old. My latest, latest invention, indoor snow. Patent pending. <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> hey, Lola. Want to check out volume one of the greatest romance of all time? Okay, that was really funny. I feel like Lola and especially in the anime show, I feel like they don't interact a lot. And I really like it because I like how she goes, hey, Lola. And her table fell over. And Lucy was like, hey, do you want to learn about this romance novel? I like it. It's great. 10 seconds left on the okay, clock. Okay, she's preparing herself. Teptar, me, before I run the mile. I hate it. Oh. Get out of her head, Scoots. I hate it. Oh, and now they're all scoots. Oh, great. All of the players on the opposing team are scoots. And now she has emu legs. She has emu legs. <laughs> what? If I had emu legs, dude, I'd be terrified. Because those birds are scary. I don't know how well you would balance. Because, you know, emus are built very differently than humans. And I feel like I kind of need all five of my toes to stand properly. I kind of have bad balance. And I'm a ballerina, and I have bad balance already. Emus aren't a very funny animal. They're huge. They're terrifying. Emus are like way tall. I don't know how tall. I was going to give you a number, but I realized I don't know. Okay, we actually did something very similar. Like that, we had a babysitter come over to our house. She was babysitting us one time, and I remember like wanting to like do some kind of prank. And then I remember thinking that I have the item right here, and I have like a little red dot by my eye. So I like drew with like a crayon. I on put a red dot hand. on my eye. I, and we, we changed covered outfits and the whole outfits. thing. I like yeah. tried to mimic her voice and mm -hmm. everything. It was it was really cool. It and was really I interesting. I told her a couple days ago, actually. Yeah. Lisa is literally out of control. <laughs> On the contrary, I've never felt more in control or more alive. She'll have to call you back, Boo Boo Bear. I love you. She did not just say that. Lisa's Lisa's a savage. <laughs> There's nothing secret! Lisa even got Lana in the bathroom! She's real on that one. She wants it, man. Take this for oh. safety! Yes, yes, yes! Fangs! Fangs! Watch out! <laughs> Yay! Get it, Lucy! Wow, nice shot, Lucy! Who knew you were so good at volleyball? Do you want to play with us? Well, that did feel surprisingly cathartic. Cathartic. <laughs> I feel like even if like she was at like an amusement park for like rainbows, clouds, and unicorns, she would find a way to make it Lucy. You know? Again, another classic Lucy moment. Pick it, emu! Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Ah! 
Oh my gosh, the poor mascot. I was not a good goalie. I was terrified of the ball when I did soccer. I was like, I don't like the running. Can you put me as goalie? And they were like, yeah. And I went in. I was like, just let it go through. Just let it go through. Don't let it hit me. I was not a good goalie, but props to that girl for being one. So this episode is basically about like, uh, it's her birthday our, party. Our, and so uh, it's Lana's turn to decide to pick the theme of the birthday. And she decides, of course, like her spontaneous her mud, yeah, exactly. uh, self as like frogs and mud pies and bowls and all of this stuff uh, that she loves. And Lola is not having it. So she comes to this Mitch's like this store. birthday party place. And it's she literally asks the person at the front desk and tells her to hide everything that, that Lana would like. would like so that way she can kind of get her way on the birthday party. Okay, that's a wrap on Lola and Lana's best moments. Best so far. But you can catch me on The Really Loud House as Lisa Loud on Nickelodeon and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Thanks guys so much for watching. Bye!